and uh, you're back with us on this edition of India Tonight. Now, the insurance regulator, the IRDAI, has released this master circular. The circular is about uh, health insurance companies and it specifies that an insurer will have to decide on cashless authorization within one hour of receiving a request. My colleague Anurag Shah is putting this uh, news in context for us. Anurag, this has been in the pipeline. Now we are understanding that this circular is going to insure it. Tell us all that the circular says that the insurance regulator is putting out for health insurers. So this circular is, uh, IRD has come up after repealing 55 old circular and after repealing 55 old circular in health insurance segment, IRD has come up with a master circular and we can call it as a, a landmark circular also because uh, uh, it mentioned couple of uh, uh, changes in health insurance space uh, as you mentioned that uh, within a one hour uh, for a, after the one hour of intimation, uh, insurance company is supposed to give uh, uh, approval for cashless treatment during the do discharge also within a three hour uh, uh, authorization is supposed to be given by uh, insurance company because most of us face the problem that uh, after the discharge and hospital treatment uh, it takes so much time for uh, uh, completing the formality so now uh, IID is a set up a deadline uh, that within a three hours uh, uh, authorization uh, should be given uh, uh, by the insurance company during the discharge. Apart from that, uh, IID has pushed up, uh, pushed up for the 100% cashless treatment. Uh, so the master circular clearly mentioned that all insurers should focus on 100% uh, cashless treatment, so which will lead to uh, fraud prevention, which will uh, help insurance companies also and uh, policy holders also. Apart from that, uh, the no claim bonus. So now every policy holder will get an option to, uh, if they are not availing any claim in a previous year, they can increase their sum assure or uh, they can uh, get a discount in their premium. So this was not an option available in health insurance, but now this option will be given to policy holders by all insurance companies. The customer information sheet, one page uh, mandatory customer information sheet will be given with each and every policy which will mention all details about exclusion, deductions, or, or what are the facilities that has also been mentioned. The grace period timing, the 30 days grace period in which uh, if you are not able to renew a policy, all your benefits will continue that has also mentioned in the master circular. The portability uh, timelines has been uh, made uh, uh, strict by the IRDA in the fixed um, uh, timeline, the portability should be done. So these are the main uh, changes uh, IRDA has uh, mentioned in the master circular and it will be a game changer in health insurance uh, segment going ahead for the policy holders. Yes, Anurag, a game changer for policy holders. What exactly does it do for the health insurance sector? Let's discuss it with, uh, with Dr. Bhabtosh Mishra. He's Director of Products, Underwriting and Claims at uh, Niva Bupa Health Insurance. And Dr. Girdar Gyani joining us. He is Director General at AHPI, which is the Association of Healthcare Providers of India. Great to have you, gentlemen. Dr. Gyani, do tell us, from your perspective, how significantly does this change how health insurers will settle cashless medical claims in the future and tell us retrospectively what were the problems because of which this kind of circular had to be put out by the insurance regulator that the health insurers could not ensure a timely um, meeting of deadline to ensure cashless claims, the requests that are sent out. You see, today uh, the discharge time is average six to eight hours across India, if you ask me, sometimes it goes even beyond. Now this, of course, you know, from hospital perspective, let me tell you, our patient is so happy for the treatment, when it comes to the discharge time and when it takes eight hours, he goes out of our hospital highly dissatisfied. So that is the one aspect. Second is, our room is occupied by this patient because of the delay in settlement of the insurance. So we also are losing one of our bed because of this delay. Now this delay happens, I'm not saying entirely due to the insurance company. Sometimes it can also happen on our part because if you are not carefully preparing the pre-settlement or putting all the things necessary into the claim, sometimes it can happen. But more it happens on the insurance company side because I can see they have shortage of these staff. And I think because of the shortage of staff, it takes huge time. So I think with this order, I'm 
expecting, though there will be teething troubles in time to come, but gradually it will settle down because I definitely welcome from the hospital perspective. There will be teething troubles. Could... Yes, Dr. Gyani, you welcome it, but you're saying there will be teething troubles. Dr. Mishra, do you foresee them? These norms, uh, will they be relatively difficult to comply with uh, compared to the current system? What are the hurdles that you see ahead from the insurance, um, health insurance sector in complying with this? Uh, thank you very much. I, I think uh, I don't anticipate much of a trouble. A vast majority of insurers and as an industry, and there are some companies that I can, uh, you know, uh, I, I can speak with confidence for and some part of the industry or large part of the industry, we do process. And in fact, some of the insurance companies like the one that I work for, we commit uh, cashless processing in the initial stage uh, at 30 minutes and uh, discharge at two hours. So our commitment that we give in writing to customers by a lot of insurers is lesser than the guideline that has come on now. But I wouldn't say that every insurer or the, as, as all insurance companies are within that uh, turnaround time commitment. What this makes uh, is it makes the process transparent for the consumer. Tomorrow consumer and this data will be verified by various uh, agencies, including the authority and will be published to them as well gradually going forward. That means that the, the consumer now knows the insurer has this much of a time to process my initial or a discharge and anything beyond consumer would have a very transparent way of knowing that where the delay happened. So as Dr. Gyani mentioned, you know, delay could happen because of both. Now this clearly defines that the insurers data will be available to peruse by the consumer that did the insurer do a good job of complying within these timelines and the regulator, this being a regulated industry, regulator will have a clear view, insurance company did in time yes. or not, and thereby consumer would know that whether this was a delay on behalf of the consumer, uh, insurer or there was something in the process from the provider and that did not work out well. So there will be plugging of uh, certain holes in this entire system. Dr. Gyani is pointing out that within the system, there are several issues like uh, the non-availability of staff, which is why you have uh, this kind of discharge formality that takes six to eight hours sometimes, which can be a real stretch, especially because people are coming to hospital, they're getting treated, and any kind of delay just uh, causes a lot of distress. Now, when you're looking at addressing the problem and you're saying, from at least from what Dr. Mishra is saying, that it should be relatively easy to comply with. As far as cashless treatments go, is that the future? Is that what you're expecting? And can we expect more transparency? Can we expect uh, more prevention of fraud because of this circular? Some holes that need to be fixed. Are we doing a good job of it through what the regulator is putting out? I want to ask Dr. Gyani. Yeah, you see, uh, once this kind of order comes from the regulator, I think both sides have to you know, start preparing. One aspect which IRDA has put in is that the insurance company now also will pre prepare an education document. I think this also will, to the great extent, fill the gaps. That is one. Second is that from hospital side, you know, we will be uh, making sure that the pre-settlement at the time of admission, then after three days, if required, if, it's, if it is to be extended, we will be more careful in preparing this kind of settlement document for sending to insurance company. Thirdly, there will be a better coordination between the hospital staff and the insurance company. This will make them to come together to work in the betterment, sorry, in the overall interest of the patient. So I think the regulator is playing a role and I'm sure this is going to benefit but as I said earlier, there will be initially some problem here and there because some insurance company have shortage of staff and some hospital side also. Sometimes we take it easy. Yes. So I think all those things now we will be more prepared and this is going to benefit the patient at large. It's going to uh, benefit the policyholder. That is a uh, given. But uh, looking ahead, what about the profitability of uh, the health insurance sector, Dr. Mishra? When you talk about the no claims bonus, there is the possibility of a policyholder going in for an increased uh, sum assured or perhaps avail the discount on the premium that they have to pay. How do you see that impacting the nature of the business and the kind of profitability that the health insurance sector enjoys today? Even today and even before this circular, 
consumer had a certain way of taking advantage of accumulated benefits on the previous coverage they had. For example, earlier, if somebody has a certain cumulative bonus or a no claim bonus, they can take the base sum insured or they can take a sum insured which they had plus the cumulative bonus and enjoy waiver of waiting periods in the entire cumulative amount, which is the base sum insured plus the no claim bonus. What regulator now says is that the consumer can take a base sum insured with the next insurer and carry forward the cumulative bonus. The difference is they don't have to pay the premium for the revised enhanced sum insured and pretty much take the no claim bonus without any charge. Now, in the immediate aftermath of this or immediate effective, uh, this going effective, there may not be any significant cost impact. There might be some which is to be evaluated, but not very significant immediately. Over a period of time, naturally, this could have a cost impact because the premium charged will be lower and the claims not necessarily will be lower than the cumulative sum insured the way it has behaved so far. So it's for long term, possibly there could be premium impact in the near term, immediate term. I don't see a potential cost impact. So to your question about profitability, there yes. is no immediate impact, adverse impact, at least that I foresee. In the medium to long term, of course, this could have an impact and pricing would automatically have to be adjusted. But Dr. Mishra also tell us about the extended uh, grace period of one month. Uh, how important was it uh, to grant it uh, for policyholders and how does that uh, really play out for the sector? I think, again, a very consumer friendly measure as the regulator has provided here. And we need to look at it in a continuum. See, the regulator has been doing a lot of pro-consumer things over a period of time. It is not in isolation that we should read this circular as of now. There was a good gadget notification that came a little, uh, you know, a little more than a month back. This has followed. And even before that, a lot of pro-consumer measures have been done. And I think these are very important to consider in the perspective of achieving insurance, health insurance penetration for every household by 2047. Now, this is extremely important because health insurance today is no more a discretionary spend. It has become, at least in many parts of the country, essential to not just excess healthcare, yes. but quality healthcare. Correct. To realize that dream, regulator has consistently been bringing in measures yes. that help achieve the country overall. Right. This vision of 2047 health insurance for every household. That's right. And that, uh, as promised under Ayush as well, uh, now you're seeing those linkages and all of it coming through in a kind of circular that ensures uh, more transparency, uh, all the deductions, all the inclusions, the grace period of one month, all of it has to be clearly mentioned. Portability is going to be uh, that much uh, uh, more possible now uh, with timelines attached to it as well. So all of that is good to the policy holder. We will see any kind of teething troubles that take place. But this has to be adapted, it has to be implemented, and the system will have to learn its new ways to ensure that this is provided to a policyholder. Very importantly, that cashless claims, any request for a cashless claim, has to be processed within an hour. And that is the key asker of policyholders, and now it is being insured by the regulator. Dr. Mishra, Dr. Gyani, thank you very much for joining us with your perspective on the subject uh, on this edition of India Tonight. Pleasure having you with us this evening. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.